In this Destiny 2 Final Shape video, I will showcase to you guys a complete guide on how you get this new Final Shape secret exotic ship called the First Knife. How is it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So the First Knife exotic ship is tied behind a triumph called Paracausal Geometries. To do this triumph guys, you need to destroy these geometries, which are tied behind paranormal activities you may see appear on your Pay Your Heart directory map. Uh, in this video guide, I'll show you firstly how to unlock these activities and then how you complete them. So first things first, to get started, you need to complete the Final Shape campaign. Upon you doing this and returning to the Lost City on the Pale Heart, uh, Ghosts will have a quest waiting for you. The quest is called Destined Hero. As soon as you pick this quest up, you have to interact with the radio right behind Ghost. And then guys, you have to do this mission, which is right nearby. Now the mission is all about using the relic dropped by the Knights to deflect enemy projectiles back at those ruins. It's quite simple. But once you get this done, the next step is a simple one of speaking to Micah 10. This is where you need to be. He now has a quest for you called Convalescence, which consists of three parts, Rootband, Underbrush and Greenery. Storm through these people as they are quite easy. Now the last step of this three part uh, quest, Convalescence, consists of you doing the Sword Dance Cyst, which within these are hidden lost encryption bits needed for the Kvostov exotic weapon. But that is a whole different questline, a massive questline which I will link down below if you do want to check it out. But you will have to do the cis missions to get this exotic ship. So do keep that in mind if you don't want to miss those lost encryption bits while you're doing this. But these cis missions are important to what we are doing today. So once you get the Convalescence quest out of the way, head back to Micah 10 and he will have another quest for you called Alone in the Dark. This quest line consists of you finding ghosts scattered across the Pale Heart, then progressing the overthrow in certain areas and then doing the Cyst missions. Each time you do one of these, you have to head back to Micah 10, claim a reward and then pick up the Alone in the Dark quest again to do another cycle of finding a ghost, doing the overthrow and then completing another cyst mission. Now there are six of these cyst missions in total. We have Sword Dance, Searing, Aerial Ace, Moth Slayer and Smothering Darkness. Each time you do one of these and head back to Micah 10, you can see it on that Alone in the Dark quest, a tally of your findings. Here guys, you need to do 12 cyst missions in total, meaning you've recovered 12 ghosts. That means yes, going out, finding that ghost, then doing the overthrow, doing the cis mission and returning back to Micah 10 and doing this 12 times. Now once you have done the six cis missions that are a part of this, they will just rotate back around. But once you're alone in the dark quest at Micah 10 states you have recovered 12 ghosts, you are good to now progress on with the paranormal activities to then get this exotic ship. Now, like I said, these appear after doing cyst missions. So you can do four cyst missions, you'll see these paranormal activity events on your map, but you will not be able to complete it. You have to get 12 ghosts recovered with the alone in the dark quest line for Micah 10. So you may as well get the 11 out of the way, because yes, they do stack. So you can do the 11 cyst missions first, and then do the 11 paranormal activities. Now you should see two on your map at once, but once you complete them, two more will appear. So on your map guys, you'll see these paranormal activities once you've recovered 12 ghosts for Micah 10. Now to complete these, it is quite simple. Head to them, which I will show you the location of each in a second. But once you get to them guys, when you are here, you will have to commune with the light. Once you do this, you then need to look for two cubes. One will have a red symbol on it, the other will have a blue one on it. Now here, you need to find a spot where you can see and shoot both without moving. So make sure you stand on that spot. Now here guys, you have to shoot the red cube with darkness damage, darkness weapons, and the blue cube with a light damage, light weapons. That's basically it. Now if you're wondering what a class is light weapons and what a class is dark weapons, it's quite simple. Strand and stasis are dark weapons. The rest being solar, arc and void are all light weapons. Kinetic weapons are classed as both, but do not work with these. So again, shoot the red symbol cubes with either strand or stasis and the blue symbol cubes with either arc, solar or void. 
Now on screen now guys, you'll see all 11 of these paranormal activities, their locations and how you do them. It's quite simple. And remember, once you do all 11, claim that triumph and get that exotic ship. And also remember, and remember you have to clear the two paranormal activities on your Pale Heart Director for two more to appear. Uh, the video will showcase these in order that they do appear for you. And there we have it guys. Guys, if you've enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.
We all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many of y'all the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Just need gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.